Right now, the search is underway for multiple shooters in a mass shooting in Lakeland. Well, police say the shooting was a drive-by. Two victims are in critical condition right now. And in this new video, you can actually hear the gunshots going off. Take a listen. Get in the house. Get in the house. Okay, I'll call, I'll call for help. And that mother in the video says that a school bus had just dropped off some children and she says her own kids were walking to a van that picks them up for an after school program when the gunshot started. She says it is a miracle that no kids were shot. I was hoping it was firecrackers, but when I didn't see any smoke and then you hear everybody, I've been hit, I've been hit. It was kind of just so surreal and scary, you know? You're, everybody's kids just got off the bus. Kids were still walking home right here. So it's a blessing nobody's kids got hurt. Well, police are looking for this dark blue four-door Nissan with dark tinted windows and temporary paper tags. Two of the ten victims are in critical condition this morning. They were both in surgery last night. The other eight have non-life-threatening injuries, and the police chief says the shooting was not random. A $5,000 reward is already being offered for information that helps lead to an arrest. Well, this unfolds on the same day Republican state lawmakers are pushing to allow people to uh, carry concealed weapons without a license. Since 25 states right now allow permitless carry. Randy Hildreth joining us live. Randy, good morning. This proposal comes about two weeks before Florida does mark five years since the Parkland massacre. And it depends on who you ask, uh, the way in which Florida should move forward. The Parkland uh, mayor at the time, who's now a state representative, is opposed to this. Orange County's sheriff, uh, John Mina, says he is strongly opposed to this. But other state lawmakers and some state law enforcement officials say this should be the next step for Florida. I do want to break down what this potential law would do. So if passed, people could carry a gun without applying to the state for a license. You'd be required, though, to carry a valid ID when carrying a gun. But firearm training is not required. The law wouldn't change who can and can't carry a gun legally or laws around firearm purchases. Bill sponsors made the announcement yesterday about the proposed legislation. Uh, several law enforcement officials were there, including Brevard County Sheriff. Now, some argue that the bill gives citizens more ability to protect themselves. Criminals that should have never had a gun in the first place are, are still been arrested, out of jail, and still have the guns. This is our citizens we're talking about, law-abiding citizens that now don't have to go through a permit process to exercise their constitutional right. Uh, but in a statement from Orange County Sheriff John Mina, he said the proposal is a recipe for disaster, saying, quote, it puts law enforcement in the perilous position of having to determine, sometimes within a split second, whether someone carrying a gun is simply exercising their rights or intends to do harm. To see John, uh, Sheriff John Mina's full statement, look for this story on the news app. Uh, this uh, legislation has been supported by Governor Ron DeSantis in the past. Live this morning, Randy Hildreth, Fox 35. Five news. Randy.